So this is the Institute of Astronomy at Cambridge University. This is the old observatory building. Used to be telescopes up here on top, uh, but now it's libraries and offices. And all around there are astronomers and their students who are studying the universe. This institute is dedicated to finding out what the universe is like and whether life could evolve in it. I don't know what the definition of life is, but I can tell you what I think some of the key properties of life are. And that's useful for an astronomer because that can guide the search for life on other worlds. Life is um, it's about complex things, um, uh, objects, organisms that have got complexity. And all the life that we know about is built on carbon atoms. And I think that life everywhere in the universe will be based on carbon atoms too, because carbon is the only atom that builds up into complicated molecules mm -hmm. that can give you this complexity, they have different effects that can all knit together mm -hmm. in a system mm -hmm. that you would recognize as life. Life also takes in energy to change and alter these chemical compounds, these carbon compounds, and builds these things up assembles them in ways that develop and becomes more complicated. And then there's the property which some biologists say is the really key one, which is that life reproduces from one generation to the next in such a way as to not quite reproduce exactly and therefore it evolves. Mm. Um, and that's the way that life changes and builds up from one form to another, from a something simple to something more complicated. Mm -hmm and the way it adapts to, an, to its environment and develops and thrives in it. And uh, that's, I think, the, a, a key property of life and it's what gives astronomers the hope that they'll be able to find life on other planets because even though it's difficult to start life and even though it starts in a rather simple form, it develops mm -hmm. through evolution in something more complicated until you can get an alien being you can have a conversation with. What I tried to do in this book was to set the scene for the development of life. I'm an astronomer. I see the, the planets as the arena on which life developed. Um, I see the solar system as the, the big biosphere, the big habitat for life on Earth. And so I was trying to explain the context at which experiments like the Mars Curiosity rover and so on were working in. And I think that if people read the book, they'll understand what they read in the newspapers better.